TikToker Sienna Mae Gomez has reportedly lost 1 million followers in just over a week following the accusations put forth by her former friend and collaborator Jack Wright. After Jack made a YouTube video explaining the situation, Gomez denied the allegations. On January 20th, Jack, who currently has over 10 million TikTok followers, made a 17 minute long video titled What Sienna Mae Did To Me. In the video, he claims that Sienna had repeatedly touched him without his consent. Furthermore, he accused her of actually breaking into his home on multiple occasions, including when he was sound asleep. He said that she would come into his room randomly and then he would wake up with her hand in his pants. After that video, things moved beyond just video responses though. A representative for Sienna said in a statement to NBC News that Jack was reframing history and making statements that were harmful and untrue. The statement reads, There has been no police investigation, not even a police report to our knowledge. No charges, no private lawsuit, and no contact between Sienna and Jack or or their respective legal teams in many months, adding, his latest falsehoods in the highly edited video show that once again, Jack is making a calculated action to hinder, hurt, and harm not only Sienna's reputation and livelihood, but her as an individual human being as well. In a statement to Insider.com, who has been really following this story all the way through, Representative Sir Gomez said that she vehemently denied these claims. She also wrote in a lengthy blog post published on January 22nd that all Jack and her did was kiss, adding that she has never seen, felt, or touched him naked. Sienna said that they had spent several nights at the Hype House together, but she refuted the claim of ever inappropriately touching him while he was asleep or awake. According to Social Blade, which is a social analytics tracker, Sienna lost 100,000 TikTok followers after Jack released that YouTube video, 100,000 in one day. Then over the next five days, she would go on to lose between 100,000 and 200,000 followers daily. 11 days later, and her follower count had fallen by 1 million, with Jack's video being viewed over 20 million times. Since the controversy kicked off, Sienna had remained silent on her TikTok page and even turned off the comments. And even her YouTube page with just over 350,000 subscribers has also remained inactive. Heading into 2021, the pair slowly stopped making videos together and then on May 30th, one of Jack's friends named Mason posted a screenshot accusing Sienna of SA. Plus said that she was also verbally aggressive with Jack and many others. When those allegations were posted, Jack retweeted it and social media went crazy. Right away, Sienna denied the allegations, but in Jack's latest video, he he said that Mason's accusations were actually correct, adding that he felt gaslit by Sienna's denial. She then claimed that Jack was mistaken and that he was essayed by a different woman at a gathering on a night where she wasn't present, saying in the video, I'm sorry, but for the one time I have to protect myself before I protect you. I was trying to keep your name and your personal business out of it, but you didn't keep my name and my personal business out of it, knowing damn well your friends were going to post those tweets. However, later that day, Jack released his own statement on Instagram where he said, while I love sharing my life with all of you, some parts are deeply personal and I have been hesitant to share for my own emotional and mental well-being. But I will say this, SA is a serious matter that has real consequences. Mason and James's only intention was to protect me with the truth. And I really value their enormous support through this extremely difficult time. I truly encourage my childhood friend Sienna to get the support and help that she needs. I don't want to tear anyone down and only wish healing for everyone involved. I want to thank all of you who have reached out with your love, support, and kindness. I am forever grateful. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all this though, because that's all the time we have for today. So stay classy, and I'll see you on the next one.